Hey guys, here is the result of the Apex Legends mobile game on two Exynos devices. One is S22 with the Exynos Playtime 2200 and another one is S20 with Exynos 990. Uh, both gameplay was uh, played on the highest graphic settings. One has an average of 57.5 FPS and another one has 50.6 FPS. Both gameplay have played in the same situation and the same settings. The difference is uh, about 14%. This is a really huge difference, right? Uh, let's find out in this video which device did run the best. Exynos 9200 or the Exynos 990. Apex Legends Mobile is the newest game and it is not optimized properly yet. But still, if it is not optimized for one Exynos device, then it should be the same case for another Exynos, right? Well, if it works. Before starting this video, 83.6% of you guys haven't subscribed to my channel. Thanks for coming to my channel. You guys are always welcome, but please subscribe to my channel. Huh? I hope to see you all in the subscribe percentage list after this video, okay? Okay. On both devices, most of the graphics are available. However, the highest original graphic is only available on S22. Uh, both devices are in normal condition and uh, have the same setup. I always make sure to disable because Samsung game optimizing service, you should always disable it. At this time also, because it's disabled on both devices. I have already done this test before on S22 before. Mm, you can check it. The result was uh, very, very impressive on my previous uh, video. But this time, it really surprised me. The result is really, really... <laughs> you have to watch for this all video okay for this okay but after the update the game is having some trouble on the exynos variant the fps are not holding like before anyway here is gameplay with live fps on s20 exynos 990 uh, you can watch it because i have on played this game on this device on my channel Extended heavy here. from the beginning the game is running pretty pretty well thumbs up I really like this game. What about you guys? Do you enjoy this game? <laughs> That's the funniest part for being greedy, right? Uh, moral of the day is don't be too much greedy. <laughs> okay. I think that's just the end. I think uh, after the first match, the surface temperature is around 42 degrees Celsius. Jumping into the void is a quick way out of danger. My ultimate's ready. Thank you. 
charging my shields. It's already more than 13 minutes and the FPS are really going very strong. The FPS is holding very perfectly fine. There is no sign of uh, throttling of devices. Mm, the device is uh, warm but it's not like uh, over warm, right? Okay, 18 minutes of the gaming, the surface temperature is about 43 or 44 degrees Celsius. Overall, surprisingly, the highest FPS gaming is still good on S20 Exynos 990. Remember, I am playing in Extreme SD graphic in 60 FPS. After that, I went to the game gaming on the S22 Exynos variant. Exynos 2200 last time it gave me an average of 58 fps but this time this game is so so laggy there were so many fluctuations in the fps i made this video after of few apex legend mobile updates after the updates it seems quite unstable after the june security update overall on this s22 Exynos variant uh, everything is going wrong with this device the device starts to throttle just after a few minutes as you can see in the FPS monitor by the end it was getting really worse Anyway, after 17 minutes of gaming, the device reaches more than 43 degrees yeah, Celsius. Uh, I think it's quite normal and on these devices, on so far I have already tested many many times. Let's go to the result. For the haters, I want to make it clear, right? All the analysis and the result is based on we test per doc analytics tool. This tool is used by Tencent, Call of Duty, and many other popular games. Uh, the, all the things what I speak and the results are not my own personal interpretation, right? So this is all according to the uh, result uh, based on which test perf dog. Okay, the device name SM S910B is a S22 Exynos 2200, as you can see in the screen very clearly. Exynos 2200 has a uh, Xclip 920 GPU and a screen size of 6.02 inches. Uh, another hand, the device name uh, SMG980F, which is S20 Exynos 990. It has a ARM Mali G77 graphic and its screen size is 6.2 inches. As you can see clearly on the graph, right? On the test results, on the device information because I don't want haters make <laughs> noise, you know, like. But according to the result, the average FPS of S22 Exynos 2200 is 50.6 and S20 Exynos 990 is 
Uh, this is really disappointing. Last time when I was doing the test, uh, S22 had a really, really good FPS. It was an average of 58 FPS. After June update on S22, an Apex Legend mobile game update, uh, which was many, many times. The result seems pretty, pretty bad for this device. Now the average FPS for S22 is 50.6. I don't know what to say. By the way, the S22 Exynos variant is really, really unstable. Uh, I do not recommend anyone for this device. Uh, I'm also planning to change to S21 series or wait for the thing phone one. Let's see. Or you guys can suggest me, right? S20 is 14% uh, ahead of S22. This result is really disappointing. I have no words. <laughs> uh, both devices are having uh, trouble running this game smoothly according to this uh, analysis tool. The uh, smoothness number should be less than 8. S20 uses 8% uh, more CPU power than S22. As I told you earlier, Exynos 2200 is not a stable SOC. One update fixes something in meantime, it catches something else in the system. Mm, so I'm always afraid to update this device because it's fixed something. On the other hand, mm, it creates some problem. So Samsung Sudan really released this Exynos. It is like on baked bread. It's a very, very so, 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 so kind of chipset. You know what I mean? S20 consumes more than 2% of battery power. More CPU power to use, more battery power to lose, right? That's a quite normal equation. Overall, S20 Exynos 990 could run more betterly than the S22 Exynos 2200 in the extreme SD graphic. But I never suggest anyone to play in highest graphic settings because this gives much much more trouble to CPU and the game cannot run smoothly. So I always suggest to play in the normal graphic settings. S22 throttles a lot and it's not stable anyway. After this gameplay and result, you guys are the judge. If you make this video so far, then thank you for staying and watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, then do make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next.